Now today we'll be talking about cooling fan relays, specifically how do you test them. Now obviously the very very first step is just finding where the relay lives. So if we take a look underneath the hood of this vehicle, this happens to be a 97 Maxima, right next to the battery we have a little box. And right here these are a bunch of different relays. And if we take a look it says radiator fan number one, number two, and number three. Now the reason why we have three relays is because it's a two speed fan. So this is for the low speed and these guys work the high speed. So usually generally speaking when the cooling the coolant temperature is under when it hits around 203 degrees the cooling fan turns on. That's the low speed or when you turn on your air conditioning the, the low speed should turn on immediately. Now the high speeds turn on around 213 degrees Fahrenheit so it also depends on engine speed or in other words how fast you're going uh, or vehicle speed I should say. But that being said these this is what you want to look for. Okay, so we're going to take off the box. Okay, let me take off the box. Just little clips, that's all they are. Okay. And soon we'll have a separate video showing on how to test the fans, the low speed, the high speed, the relays, uh, the connectors, the harness connectors, so on and so forth. But let's see, let's say you've pinpointed, you think it may be a relay problem. This is something you can quickly do. So right here you have a harness connector. So I'm just going to push it out a little bit and pull up on the relay. Put this down. Oh, still a little tight. We'll do it again. Just want to be gentle, especially with something like this that's 20 years old. You know, you don't want to overdo it. And there you go. There's relay number one. So again, by looking at this diagram, this is number two, and that's number three. There we go. A little tight. I'm just pulling up on this and this is a little bit different. You want to push in just a touch as you can see. Just push it in and just take your time work it out. Oh, oh that hurt. Okay, now let's put this on a bench and I'll show you on how you can test these. Now we're going to test all three relays, but this is how you can quickly do this test really on any vehicle. If you take a look, there's a diagram on top of the relay. And all that this means is when number one and terminal number two is energized. So in other words, when it receives 12 volts worth of power, numbers three and five turn on. It's essentially a switch, a relay. That's all it is. So right now there's no power being applied to this. So terminals 3 and 5 back here are not connecting. Okay. When you apply power to number 1 and 2, then 3 and 5 make a connection. Now how do you test that? You can Sometimes you can try by listening if there's a click, but really the best way is to do a continuity test. Continuity means two points make a connection. To do that you need a multimeter and multimeters are just one of the best tools you can obtain if you plan on doing your own auto repair. Very very simply you can purchase one of these at Sears, Lowe's, Home Depot, Auto Parts Store, Amazon, but the symbol that you want to look for for continuity it looks like a Wi-Fi hotspot okay this guy right here that means continuity now let me just hook up the leads you can get a perfectly fine multimeter for maybe twenty five dollars or so and you can not only do automotive work I recently repaired my gas dryer clothes dryer using a multimeter you can do repairs for your AC system on your house I mean you could just do a lot of electrical tests with a multimeter so what you want to hear something like this okay when we apply power so the next question becomes how do I apply power to terminals one and two if you don't have anything you can use your car battery now that's a little cumbersome so what I'm going to use I have an RC battery pack this pushes out pretty close to 12 volts so I'm just going to grab alligator clips connect it to terminals one and two and we'll see if we have continuity if you're getting a little confused let me hook everything up and I'll show you on how simple it is to test one of these and you can really do this type of relay test on any component on your vehicle. So you want to test AC relays, if you want to test 
grab this other one. Uh, the cooling fan relays that we have here, starter relays, uh, relays for, actually you can hear it click, hold on. You hear that? Now that's not always a sure sign that this is working correctly. So I'll keep the power there, and now, let me just get this cleaned up a little bit. Okay, so now we want to see if we have continuity. So, just take the leads, terminals 3 and 5, and we should hear an audible alert. And there you go. Oh, you get a good connection. There we go. So that verifies that we have continuity. This is working correctly. This valve, or excuse me, this relay is working perfectly well. That's what you want to see. So here we have the high speed, the high speed relays, and same exact thing. If you apply power to terminals one and two, one and two, just look for this symbol. If you apply power, then terminals five and three make a connection, and seven and six, both of them do. Same with this, five and three, seven and six. So if we flip over this relay, let me just get this situated here. Okay, so terminals one and two are these guys. These are one and two, and these happen to be three and five, six and seven. Okay, so again, if we do continuity, because there's no power being supplied here, we should have no continuity, right? We should not hear this. Okay, so here we go. Three and five. Absolutely nothing. Same with this. Okay, so let's apply power. Now, if you're getting a little confused, if I'm going too fast, just rewatch it over and over again. But essentially, all that you're doing is applying 12 volts worth of power directly to the relay and then making sure that these switches are making a closed connection. And that's what continuity does. It tests that two points make a connection. Okay? So here we go. Apply direct power. Let's see if it clicks, which it does. But let's test it beyond that. Okay. Grab our multimeter. Here we go. Okay. So that makes the connection. Let me zoom in here. Just Okay, let me do that again. So numbers 3 and 5. Okay, that's good. And number 6 and 7. Okay, that's working good. Same with this. Apply power to terminals 1 and 2. Let me get this out of the way. Okay, sorry about that. So again, we're just applying power. Again, this is clicking. Let me just make sure you guys can hear this. Okay, and same exact thing, number three and five, okay, six and seven. That's it, that's all it takes to test your cooling fan relays. Very, very simple. Make sure these wires don't cross. So that's how you read the fan relay, and that's it. So very, very simple. Now, again, this is just testing the relay. If you want to test your, your cooling fans, the harness connectors, so on and so forth, I will have a separate video very, very shortly showing how you can test both co the cooling fans on low, high-speed harness connectors, a whole bunch of stuff, really the next step beyond this. Uh, so if you like this, please thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.